All right, so Skylanders opinions. Some of them are mediocre. Some of them are good. And some of them are just downright bad. And I feel like I should say that I'm not talking about anyone in specific. And remember, these are all just opinions. I'm gonna lose so many subscribers from this video. Okay, so first opinion. Skylander Boy and Girl are good. I think this because they got me and a ton of other people to purchase and given 430 of our money into this game. And if you think about it, without this guy, we wouldn't have this, or even this, or this, 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 or even this. I think it's safe to assume that they're a big part of this community. The second opinion I have on Skylanders is Spyro fans. I don't have a problem with Spyro fans being mad at Activision, Toys for Bob, or Vicarious Visions, or even the SSA up until Superchargers. Spyro fans hating on Superchargers and Imaginators is really unnecessary because Spyro isn't really used at all for marketing in those games. Like, I guess you could argue that Spyro plays a role as an NPC. But he's an NPC! You know what he does? He makes stupid jokes and appears in like four levels. <sighs> okay, that's my rant. But like I said, if you're a Spyro fan hating on like SSA for using Spyro just for money, I'm okay with that. Because that's absolutely what they did. They used Spyro to market the first game in the series and gave him a unique redesign. My second opinion is going to lose me half my subscriber count. I like superchargers. I also don't like superchargers. It's weird for me because I'm split. Like, I'm not a huge fan of the cars thing, but to be honest, it's better than just big Skylanders. Skylander Superchargers is also kind of annoying how instead of finding soul gems on levels, you throw a magic stone in a well. It's alright, I guess. The story is kind of overwhelmingly awful, but the gameplay is actually not bad. I mean, it's better than Trap Team. I guess. The next one is pretty specific, and I've been looking for an excuse to talk about it for a while now. As someone who just 100%ed Skylanders Imaginators on Nightmare Mode, which was a painful, by the way, I had to use all of my senseis, and that meant using Blastertron. I was always a fan of Blastertron. Until this. Now, I don't know if I'm using him wrong or something, but I personally think he is horrible. Now, I could just be using him wrong, or I'm using the wrong path, but I don't like him at all, and in my opinion, is super overrated. This next one I'm very passionate about for no reason, but um, I feel like Skylander Gamer TV explains it way better than I do, so uh, yeah, take it away. Cursed Tiki Temple is a metaphor. Here's a great theory. So the theory is that the level Cursed Tiki Temple is somewhat of an allegory. They say that this level is kind of supposed to be representing what Toys for Bob went through as a company working with Activision for Skylanders. The first thing is that the level is Tiki themed, just like the Toys for Bob office. Also, the main NPC is Bob, the floating Tiki head. Toys for Bob and the main NPC is Bob. Kind of strange, but it gets even better. Then, when you get to the actual temple, in this level, Bob, the Tiki head says, whoever built this temple made it to honor the dragons, but the evil has taken over and honors nobody. This quote um, really makes the, uh, the theory seem true. To honor the dragons may be referring to game one, where Spyro was brought back and honored uh, the main star. The evil that possesses it honors nobody, maybe being Activision plans, and the possessment may be the employees being laid off or the HQ being taken down bit by bit. Honors nobody part refers to the mindset of Activision. They honor no single creator or being only the profits that they make. They honor nobody. Uh, yeah, so the series seems pretty true. Also, the Voodoo Doll enemies may be referring to the actual toys and prototypes of the Skylanders, and the curse could be Activision's layoffs, plans, and management for the franchise. Uh, this theory has looks like it could be really true, actually. So, yeah, this theory is a pretty cool theory, and it, um, it looks like it could be true. Why would a company go out of their way to show that they use something just for marketing and then make themselves look bad? It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh yeah, and these enemies. 
these are the toys that they created for these games. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please subscribe and like the video. See ya.